because today is Sunday, I decided to share with you how to make fluffy and perfect akara in your kitchen. If you want to know how I make this akara, please keep watching. And if you are new on my page or on my channel, you're most welcome. My name is Lola. Please let us dive into today's video. So guys, in today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make akara in your kitchen you don't have to go out to go and buy akara in the streets okay let's get started guys so to make akara you will need beans of course peeled beans so i've soaked my peeled beans overnight and i'll be i will be using three cups of peeled beans with some onion scotch bonnet some spring onion and a little bit of bell pepper just for color and flavor so I will go ahead and add a little bit of water into my blender then I will pour the beans onion and pepper into the blender then I will go ahead and blend until I get a smooth beans paste so after blending the beans I will go ahead and pour the beans paste into a clean bowl you can see the beans paste is not watery, it's not light, it is thick. It is just because um, I'm making a caranaut moi moi. So once I finish pouring the beans paste into the bowl, I will go ahead and mix it very well. So this is where the secret is. If you want to get a fluffy akara without soaking oil, you must mix your beans paste very well. If you know you don't have the strength to use your hand to mix this, please go ahead and use your electric cake mixer to get this texture. This is ready now. You can see it. the beans paste has double in size. I will go ahead and have had one tablespoon of salt, half cubes of maggi and chopped onion. I like to have extra onion. I like to add extra onion to my akara because i love onion so much so it gives my akara extra flavor i will go ahead and mix everything thoroughly and i will taste the beans uh, paste if i will need to add more salt or not so at this point the taste is okay it's perfect the salt is okay so in a fry pan i will heat up some cooking oil on a medium heat, I will add onion for extra flavor. Then I will start by scooping the beans cake into the oil. As you can see, one of the things you must notice that all you should notice from this video is when I scoop the beans paste into the oil, they are floating. As in they are at the top, they are not sinking, they are not going to the into the bottom. Like you can see them, they are all at the top. This is the secret. The reason why the bean space are floating is because I mix the bean space very well. That's why it is very important that you mix your beans paste very well before frying them. So after a few minutes later, I will flip the akara so that i can fry the other side please when you are frying your akara please don't let the oil be too hot fry on medium heat don't fry on a high heat okay or high flame okay just fry this on a medium heat so that you can get your perfect akara and your akara can be well cooked from both in and out okay so a few, few minutes later, I will flip the akara over. Now we go ahead and fry this until it is golden brown. So this is ready now. They are ready. I will go ahead and remove the akara from the oil. And I will repeat the same process with the remaining beans paste. Okay, look at this. They are looking so beautiful and the shapes is <laughs> good, it's perfect, okay? So 
so guys this is the last batch of the beans cake I will just you know fry the all oh, this time <laughs> I was running out of time because I was checking time and I'm going to church I just need to just make this for my husband before leaving the house so guys so lovely I finished frying all the akara this is these are my akara here they are looking so beautiful and the shapes are very nice so I just open one of it so that you can see how fluffy it looks in the inside look at it look at this this looks like a cake okay so we've come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video please don't forget to like